afternoon, everybody. Time at Old Weatherman here. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. So, as promised, we are going to talk about the brand new November outlook that got issued earlier this morning. So, a few things to make note of here as we dive right on in here. We're not going to waste too much time, really. It's not going to be a long video. But in any case, what I'm saying here with this outlook, in particular the temperatures, we're going to probably start to see the early signs of this right towards the end of this month that we're in right now in October. So the things to make note of here with this map is out towards the southwest and the southern plains is where the most heat will be. We're going to have the greatest probability of above average temperatures there. Also towards Maine could be a point of interest too in regards to above average temperatures. A lot of that's going to have to do, of course, with the jet stream in this case. I do think that we're going to have a little bit more in the way of troughing out towards the northwest as we go forward here. Then a little bit more ridging, maybe a little bit of a change here, maybe a little bit of deviation towards the southeast as we get towards the middle, later parts of the month right now. Still too early to tell, but just based off of this current outlook, this is just a guess that I'm making current at this point in time. But some other things I also like to keep an eye on, and this is particularly towards the northwest here, it's always looking towards Alaska. Towards southwest Alaska, we have those below average temperature probabilities, which are pretty much few and far between the uh, lower 48 here. But maybe over here towards the far reaches of the northwest here towards the coast it could be potentially below average, where we might see those higher probabilities of maybe 33 to 40%. But in any case though, Equal chances right now for this region here and a little bit of change expected there. But for the most part, I do think that this is probably what we're going to end up sticking with on the next outlook towards the end of the month here. This is actually pretty similar to what we would expect for a classic La Nina fall and winter. So not really see not really seeing anything I'm surprised by at this point. This is also another calling card here with a La Nina here, especially a weak La Nina like this, although there is room for anomalies, of course, but just based off what I'm seeing here towards the Southwest, we anticipate it being dry. Gulf Coast is sometimes questionable with that, but it does look like the weather pattern is anticipated to be pretty dry. So not really too far out of the norm, so to speak, but Again, it's really over towards the southeast where things kind of become a bit more questionable. Like I said, it really depends on what that jet stream is doing. Same thing for Maine over here. While we're looking at equal chances, I wouldn't be surprised if we were slightly above average on the precipitation there. And then, of course, as we look towards Alaska, not a whole lot to really go off of here that I could use to say, oh, this is definitely going to be happening over here towards the northwest right now. Probabilities aren't high, but they aren't low either, so... We'll just kind of stick with this right now. And I think this is probably going to be the most variable part of the outlook here, so to speak. So looking at what our Enzo is looking like currently, we're pretty much already in the La Nina setup here. And we're going to anticipate that continuing really all the way up until late winter, early spring, where we get back into that neutral phase. No major shift from weak La Nina to El Nino. So, so no major worries there, but... These little weak La Ninas sometimes have the tendency to produce very anomalous events here. So let's make sure that we are still being weather aware, even though right now things are looking pretty calm. We still, of course, and a lot of chasers are talking about it too, they still have that little secondary severe season. It tends to usually be a little bit more towards the southeast. Right now, it looks like the pattern itself is still pretty calm here. So looking at our oscillations that are most relevant to us over here in the lower 48 here it's the AO the Arctic Oscillation up here that's right towards the North Pole and the North Atlantic Oscillation towards Greenland both of these look like they're right on the verge of being in the negative phase here but as we go towards the end of this up this uh, current month here we end up almost certainly seeing a negative phase here and then we start to switch over a little bit as we go a little bit further along in this first week of November you can actually see a little bit of cold air trying to peak its way into the northwest here. Towards the east, we're a little bit warmer than average. In particular, I'm seeing that increased focus over towards the northeast, which is where those probabilities are probably going to... This is probably why the probabilities over there are so high. So we continue to go forward here. We actually end up going into a positive AO and NAO phase here for both of these regions here before all is said and done. And then we kind of end up being like in this little bit of an in-betweener phase here 
when we get towards the very end of November as of right now. Like I said, it's very much prone to changing here, but I do see maybe the potential for maybe a negative phase to come in. And with those negative NAO phases, you always have to watch the Northeast because those areas usually will tend to get the uh, cooler weather here. Towards the South, it's still a bit questionable, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up seeing relatively above average albeit the anomalous nature of it, it's going to be relatively light like i said really the question mark for me right now is going to be more so out towards the west i do think there's a little bit of variability in this forecast and i do think that there are chances where we could end up being below average here as well really over here towards the eastern half here i think the above average temperatures are pretty much set in stone especially towards the south towards the ohio valley and the mid-atlantic might also be another point of contention but as we look at the week to week basis here on the temperature anomaly of course right now we're in a little bit of a cooler phase here and this is going to remain into next week but this is where that warm-up begins and like i said when we looked at the temperature anomaly here for november this is already a pretty good representation of what we might see there are those cooler than average temperatures over here towards the northwest those don't last very long as we get into that first week in november here the heat kind of migrates a little bit further out towards the north here, especially over towards the north, the northern parts of the Midwest here in the Great Lakes. But eventually we start to see that heat building more so towards Canada. A lot more ridging, it looks like, is anticipated right there as we go forward into the month. Those above average temperatures really start to spread out eastward here. And the cooler than average temperatures don't really seem to be popping up here at this point. So like I said... I do think that as we go further along into November, the question mark still remains for the Midwest here. It's also why I think we have those equal chances of above or below average temperatures, nothing really set in stone here. So now, as we take a final look at the precipitation map here, you can pretty much expect just based off what we were seeing with the map on the November outlook, Southwest, Southeast, relatively dry, could be some chances of shower and storm activity as we get towards the early part of November. But for the most part, the weather pattern, it looks like it's gonna stay pretty tame right now. Keep in mind again, and I'm gonna keep saying this, even if it annoys you, we're still looking almost a month out in advance. So a lot of adjustability in this forecast here, a lot of room for things to change. So nothing set in stone here, but this is an early look more so at what we might see. Don't have a lot of confidence in this just yet. As we get into the point where we can get more weather models available for us to look at, I'll have slightly more confidence in this forecast, but at the end of the day here, looks like we have a relatively warm November head for a lot of us. Uh, might be pretty calm here too. So pretty calm start to fall. Let's hope we can keep that going, especially considering the fact that we've had pretty crazy October already. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also obliterate that share button. And until the next one, see you later.